everyone and welcome back to It All Started With A Blog. So this is the second video on my new channel uh, and I'm super excited to share it with you. If you'd like to check out my new blog, uh, I, I'm on WordPress, so go onto WordPress and search It All Started With A Blog and you'll find my new review of the new Beauty and the Beast film which I went to see a couple of days ago. So anyway, this video uh, is about to be all about what to wear in the Disney parks. Uh, it's a good idea to plan ahead before you go on your trip. Uh, so that you're not caught off guard when the time comes and the weather might change. So my first tip is to check the weather forecast before you go because that will indicate what you should be packing in your suitcase before you leave. Now if you're going in the summer months, uh, choose shorts or loose fit trousers because uh, they're probably your best bet. Uh, long jeans or skinny trousers will get too hot in the sun and a skirt tends to be quite impractical when going on some of the attractions. Uh, if the weather forecast suggests that there may be some cooler days uh, or rain in the summer, then consider taking a pair of something like capri pants or jeans just in case. Uh, and if it's due to be very hot and sunny, then bring a sun hat, uh, either a cap or a uh, straw hat or something like that, because uh, it's not uncommon for the top of your head to get quite burnt. So bring a hat and sunglasses and sun cream as well. For the tops, it might be worth wearing tops that cover your whole shoulder because again it's not uncommon to burn your shoulders uh, so something that has a capped sleeve rather than just spaghetti straps would be, would be a good idea. It's also worth mentioning that French weather uh, is a bit like British weather that even in the summer it isn't overly hot at night um, so when it gets towards the evening if you're watching the fireworks or spending an evening in the Disney Village uh, it might be worth bringing a cardigan or a light hoodie for when the temperature drops a little bit in the, in the night time. So if you're going in the winter months to Disneyland Paris, uh, bring jeans, trousers, leggings or anything of that sort to keep your legs warm. Uh, and an assortment of tops for however many days that you're going. Uh, you can get quite warm when you're walking for a long time. So it's a personal preference whether you want uh, long or short sleeve tops, and it's difficult to tell what you want unless you regularly walk long distances in the winter time. Uh, I opted for three quarter length sleeves when I went in January uh, and quite loose fitting tops. Uh, that way I didn't feel restricted when I was on rides, particularly roller coasters when you have the over the head restraint. You don't want to feel like you're, you're too tight. Uh, so I opted for three quarter length sleeves and loose fitting tops. Um, it's best to have a couple of jumpers with you uh, or hoodies. To, to keep you warm. Uh, I went for turtleneck jumpers, not a turtleneck top like this one, but a, uh, a quite loose turtleneck because that way I didn't have to use space in my luggage to bring a scarf because my neck was always covered by the turtleneck. Um, and depending on how cold it is, you might want to bring a very big coat uh, if it's a very cold kind of zero degree sort of temperature. Bring a big ski coat was what I did. Uh, but equally, on other days, I also just used a very thin waterproof jacket. So it depends on the kind of situation, depends on what the weather is, and depends how cold a person you are. Uh, you can buy a Disney rain poncho in the parks, uh, but again, they tend to cost you a couple of euros. Uh, so bring your own and stuff it in your bag if need be. Uh, your hands can also get very cold in the parks for all of the cold railings and ride handles and cold beverages that you may uh, end up having to hold. So it's a good idea to bring uh, gloves and a woolly hat for your cold ears, potentially. Now, whatever the season, Disney clothing is a must. Whether it's shoes, t-shirt, some mittens or a backpack, uh, Disney clothing is something that a lot of people will wear in the Disneyland parks because it's the perfect place to show off your Disney merchandise. So of course the most popular accessory uh, of all are the mini ears. I have two pairs of mini ears, one traditional set and I bought these online from eBay for about £2.50 rather than spending several more euros on them in the park. Uh, I thought it's just best to get a slightly less good quality but it cost me not a lot. <laughs> uh, and then I have this lovely floral set with some rose gold uh, metal ears. 
And these are from Etsy, and it's from a shop called Ears by Erin. And she was wonderful throughout the whole process. Uh, and she makes them, hand makes them. Uh, there are lots of different designs, but that was the one that I liked the most. It was, it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they do some new ones, which have a little crown on them as well. So I'm quite excited to check them out when they're all there on the Etsy shop. I also got lots of compliments for those ears, uh, which was a bit awkward when someone that was French came up to me and started speaking French and pointing at my ears. To which I, I kind of laughed and said, I don't speak French. Uh, and she tried to, to, to help me out in French, which ended up becoming a bit awkward. I'm not really sure how I handled the situation. But yeah, French people love them. So that's, that's a pro. Um, yeah. <laughs> so another thing that's important, whatever the season, is footwear. Now, other people may have other opinions on this and may disagree with me, but for me, the best shoes to wear are always trainers or some sort of walking shoes. Um, during our trip in January, we were walking 30,000 steps a day, uh, and nobody wants to do that in flip-flops. <laughs> uh, get shoes that are comfortable and don't rub and support your feet, or you'll end up with lots of aching muscles and sore blisters and potentially long-lasting issues with your legs. And nobody wants a Disney trip ruined by an injury. So those are my top tips uh, for how to dress in Disneyland Paris. My next vlog, uh, I'm planning for it to be about what to bring into the parks with you. Now, one thing to note about dressing in Disney is there's no need to dress to impress. I mean, you can be as wacky or as mismatched or as dull or as princessy as you please. Uh, and no one will ever judge you because it's Disneyland and people will happily put dog hats on their heads and dress only in patterns of their favourite characters and it, it's personal expression and it's all wonderful so don't be self-conscious Disney is a fantastic place to wear whatever you please so thank you very much for watching make sure you subscribe comment like and share and check out my blog on WordPress it all started with a blog and I will see you in the next video bye